Good afternoon, my name is Myra and we're Back Bay Team 2. Our company is Nestle. I'm going to give you a brief summary of the company. Um, our company is, was established in 1866 and it's based off in Switzerland. The main product that we're going to focus on today is chocolate. As you know, Nestle is one of the largest multinational food companies. However, in 2007, 5% of growth goal was set, but it still hasn't been attained. So obviously, urgency is important to create a new product to increase the chocolate brand. Our proposal is to create a new product called Mommy Chocolate, which will attract beauty and health consumers, which are valuable for today's social environment. Nestle's urgency to increase the growth is of $29 billion for within two years. As you can see, based on the projection of our 5% for the 2007 to what it is now, there's a big growth gap. The sales growth in the chocolate segment is in dire need. As you can see, there are other products that have done favorably uh, better than chocolate, but chocolate is still under minus 2% in sales. Now I'm going to introduce you, Victor, who will explain to you our other slides. Thank you, Myra. So, how to go about it? To go on with our research, we actually started looking for the trends which are there as current as well as what uh, the trends are coming up in the future. We have segregated all the trends which we have found in terms of impact and uncertainty. We have built up a 4x4 four four matrix, so as you can see, these four quadrants, they are all the trends whichever we have found. We have tried to focus on those who, who those trends who has more impact and less uncertain. There are obesity, food scarcity, high life expectancy, busy lifestyle, chocolate as a healthy nutrient, replacement, stress in uh, our natural normal life, social responsibility, fair trade. All these trends have come up in our research. But what we think increase in health consciousness and supply chain cost optimization is going to be the next biggest thing which people are looking for. As you can see now, people are getting more and more aware on their health. They want to eat healthy and be healthy. Supply chain cost optimization, as you know, most of the corporations now in market, they're investing lump sum amount of money to get their process more cost efficient. So, out of these uh, trains, whatever we have looked for, we have come out with five field of place, uh, which is more close to your core business in Nestle. We have come up with beauty and health, we have come up with retail, we have come up with personalized experience, lifestyle, capturing memories. I will ask my colleague Gareth to uh, tell you more about the individual fields of play. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. As Victor mentioned, we have identified five fields of play, and we have ranked each field of play according to their potential size whether it's compelling, whether it's actionable, whether it fits into a business model, and whether it's robust. And based on this comparison, we have identified beauty and health as our prioritized field of play. And within this field of play, we'll present to you five business ideas. The first business idea is an anti-aging chocolate which contains minerals such as collagen and other antioxidants. And we are targeting mainly women, and that is for everybody who wants healthier and younger looking skin. And we are actually distributing it through our major supermarkets, retailers and airports. The next idea will be a hair, hair care chocolate which contains minerals such as carotene and is for basically everybody. No matter whether you have too little hair, enough hair or too much hair, we have a chocolate for you. But uh, we are targeting mainly men and this is a form of dark chocolate which is fit for daily consumption. I'll now hand over to Nori. Okay, next business idea is to sell chocolate with vaccine. Uh, to get vaccine uh, for our children uh, is a, a legal requirement. So, uh, but uh, you know, uh, Nestle is not a medical manufacturer. So in order to sell this product, um, Nestle has to partnership with hospital or pharmacies such as CVS or Walmart. Next idea is a premier tea flavored chocolate tasted green, uh, green tea, or chai tea, or masala tea, and so on. Uh, this uh, product focuses on, focus on high-end customers, um, unlike uh, 
uh, hit cut uh, that is focused on middle and uh, low end customers. Uh, in this case, uh, Nestle has to partnership with uh, pharmacies or other uh, convenience stores and so on. A final business idea is so called Mummy Chocolate. Uh, it contains a uh, lot of um, prenatal vitamins and uh, no or caffeine and uh, additives. And to sell this product, we have to partnership with hospitals or other pharmacies. Next, uh, my colleague Thomas talk about uh, each business idea. Thank you, Nori. So you may wonder why mommy chocolate? So we came up with this matrix, and we measure with two main concepts. The first one is the attractiveness, and the second one is the fit with Nestle. So why uh, this concept fit with Nestle? Because the mission of Nestle is to provide the best testing and the best uh, products uh, for all the stages of your life. So, what was the stage that Nestle was missing? Was the pregnancy stage. So that's why we prioritize with a high fit with this concept. And the attractiveness. I will walk through these numbers. So, assuming that we share the market share is 50% with this product, and we add the pregnancy women of Mexico, uh, Canada, and United States. So we came up with 3.2 million of women, and we multiply this with $2, that is the price of this product. And for nine months, we came up with 2 billion of, um, of earnings in a year. So we think it's very attractive. So I will hand over this, uh, the next slide with Chen. Thank you very much, Jose. Now I'm going to talk about why this product is good for <coughs> um, this for Nestle. The first thing is, how do you buy chocolate? You buy chocolate when you get to checkout counter or when you um, have a gift to give someone. We believe that Nestle needs to move from becoming an extra expense to becoming part of the daily healthy lifestyle of people, and we're starting with pregnant women. What will this do? This gives Nestle a revenue base. The revenue will not go below this two billion, it will only go above. And as we continue to spread beyond US, Canada, and Mexico, that two billion is going to increase. Also, we see that women, we know that this product will be acceptable because a lot of women have complained about the taste and the smell of their medication. Nestle has come to solve that problem by offering them pleasurable medication. Thirdly, women are advised to take, stay away from fatty foods and uh, chocolates and all the likes because of their health during um, pregnancy. But what this product offers them is a way to indulge, to satisfy their craving in a healthy way. How are we going to go about this? The first steps are, we have them three steps and they move simultaneously. The first step will be to get partnerships with pharmaceutical industries, go into research and test the product. When this phase is completed, the next stage will be to go into production and then begin to partner with NGOs, with doctors and hospitals and create awareness for this amazing product coming into the market. Thirdly, we will have a pilot run. Finally, we will go, and we will go into product launch, we will distribute and look at how this product affects the market. We have also gone and looked at risk scenarios, challenges that the product will face. One challenge is the risk of overdose, because these women love chocolate, they may take too much of it. We have a warning on the package which will um, inform them on the maximum amount of chocolates that they can have in a day. The second risk is that because of the prejudice that people have about chocolate, um, they may not accept it because um, it may, they may think it makes them fat, but through the awareness campaigns, these fears will be addressed. Thirdly, will be the matter of competition. And to handle competition, we think that the time to act is now. Get into the market quickly and release other products quickly. We suggest that products should be released within every six months. We come up with prenatal, postnatal, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much for listening.